Assalamualaikum and very good morning. I be to Madam Shaza, my group friends and fellow friends. Today, I would like to present about the waterborne disease. Before that, I would like to present our my team that is Haras, Adam, uh, Faris, and Tim. Now I would like to invite Haras to present about it. Okay. Infection through water usually happens in areas with inadequate water supply and poor sanitation. Other than inadequate, inadequate water supply and poor sanitation, floods can also spread infectious disease. For instance, when someone uses a toilet built of a river, fecal pathogens enter the river and pollute the river. A person can be infected by pathogens when he drinks the contaminated water. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is some of the disease that transmit uh, through water, uh, cholera, typhoid fever, and amoebic dysentery. Uh, th there are some ways to prevent uh, the uh, waterborne diseases. I will pass to Faris to explain it. First, we can add chlorine into swimming pool and water supply systems. It can kill all the bacteria in the water. Then, we can build a toilet with good sanitation. Then, I will pass the mic to Adam. Then, we, we must boil drink, what, drink, drink water properly first before drink so we can avoid from stomach ache. Uh, and last but not least, we must wash our hands with soap after using the toilet so, so the bacteria cannot spread it. I think that's all from us. Thank you.